Now, you may be asking yourself with everything that's going on right now, what's something that I can do to make a difference? And to answer that question, I'd like to turn your attention to a popular meme that's been making its way around the internet, comparing roles in protesting to classes in Dungeons and Dragons. Now, the first and most basic class is the fighter. Just like in D&D, they're one of the most common classes, they're the majority of us, and their role is to get out there and march in demonstrations. With this class, numbers matter. I am no man. The tank's role, just like in D&D, is to absorb damage for the rest of the party. The tank class puts their body in between the attacks of the police and the more vulnerable members of their party. If you are a member of the tank class, please remember to wear appropriate armor that protects your vital areas, including masks, eye protection, and gloves, because tear gas canisters are very hot. And my axe. The rogue class ties up snitch report lines with memes, floods racist hashtags with K-pop videos, and generally disrupts police activity online and otherwise, similar to the loose-knit organization known as Anonymous. The healer class provides first aid and medical supplies to their fellow party members. If a police officer stabs you with a Morgul blade, seek these members of your party for help. If you want him, come and claim him. The bard class spreads the word, rallies allies, and helps keep up the spirits and mental health of those around them. This can be anything from a rousing speech to lending an ear to a troubled ally. A day may come when the courage of men fails. When we forsake our friends and break all bonds of fellowship. But it is not this day. The chemist provides food and needed supplies to communities targeted by police and agitators. Potatoes. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Potatoes. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. The wizard class uses their technical skills and platform to keep the lines of communication open and inform people. They basically tell the eagles when they need to show up. And no, the eagles could not have flown the ring to Mordor because as powerful eagles of Manway just a step below mire such as Gandalf, they also would have been tempted by the ring. Plus, Sauron's a giant flaming eyeball. He would have seen them coming a mile away. Duh. You shall not pass! The support caster keeps their allies strong by donating time and money to bail funds, protest organizations, and a number of related charities. Down below in the video description, you can find links to donate to a number of these organizations. We've had one, yes. What about second breakfast? Now, just like the second edition of D&D, I'm going to add a ranger class. Because I wanted to use a picture of Legolas. The ranger class floods the offices of their elected officials with letters, emails, and phone calls urging them for change. Just like how Legolas takes down larger creatures with a slew of arrows. See, it makes sense. That still only counts as one. And remember, it's perfectly fine to multi-class. I mean, Gandalf definitely had to put some points into combat in order to wield Glamdring so well, am I right? <laughs> of course I am. And for those of you not actively participating in these protests, going about your daily lives as if nothing is wrong, you're an NPC, a non-playable character. And NPCs aren't heroes. You've been officially labeled a disturber of the peace. Mm -hmm. All we have to decide is what to do with the time given to us. And now, this inspirational clip from Bernie Sanders. An hour of wolves and shattered shields when the age of men comes crashing down. But it is not this day. This day we fight. By all that you hold dear on this good earth, I bid you stand, men of the West. And remember, what would outlaw journalist Spider Jerusalem do? Do that.
And if you haven't read Transmetropolitan, you should probably do that first so my jokes land. I'm actually organizing another revolution. I don't know if you'd be interested in something like that. Do you reckon you'd be interested? Okay, so I really wanted to do a comparison between the Trump administration and the bad guys in The Lord of the Rings. So here we go. Uh, Sauron, Trump, obviously. They're both giant orange pieces of shit that can't really do anything for themselves. And both of them are so egomaniacal and vain that they can't imagine another person doing anything selfless. Which is actually why the plot in The Lord of the Rings works, because Sauron didn't think that the Fellowship was planning on destroying the ring. He thought they were planning on being selfish and taking it for themselves. Uh, Saruman the White, definitely Mike Pence. For one, Mike Pence is about the whitest person that I can imagine. Both of them are conniving jackasses that are scheming behind the scenes. And, you know, both of them are kind of the second in command. In fact, Mike Pence is the one person that Trump can't fire. Let's see, the mouth of Sauron, definitely going to be Kellyanne Conway. Both of them spew bullshit and propaganda for their respective Dark Lord. And if I'm being perfectly honest, they have a little bit of a resemblance to each other. Stephen Miller, definitely grime a worm tongue, already went over that. Uh, because he is definitely whispering, whispering, whispering tons of white supremacist things in Trump's ear 24-7. Let's see, Ivanka Trump, Jared Kushner, the entire Trump family are going to be the ringwraiths with Jared Kushner as their leader because, well, the Trump family is completely translucent. You can see right through them. And Jared Kushner is kind of in charge of everything and also the worst. Let's see, a Balrog. That is definitely going to be Betsy DeVos, because she is an inhuman monster. A uh, Cave Troll. That's definitely going to be Attorney Barr. I mean, for one, the resemblance between the two is uncanny. Both of them like to smash things. A Cave Troll uses a giant club, while Attorney Barr uses police and federal troops to smash the faces of peaceful protesters and the press. Orcs. Trump supporters, that one's pretty obvious. They're the uh, general ignorant troops of uh, the Lord of the Rings. And if I'm being honest, they kind of look very similar to Trump supporters and have a lot of the same political views. Seriously, get into a political debate with an orc. It's the exact same as getting into a debate with a Trump supporter. Morgoth. Now, Morgoth is technically not in the Lord of the Rings. He is in the Silmarillion. Morgoth is actually Sauron's boss. And for Morgoth, I'm going to put Vladimir Putin. Because both of them are kind of Sauron's boss. You know, Morgoth, big bad, original Dark Lord of Evil. Sauron was actually a lieutenant in his army. And when Morgoth was de defeated, Sauron eventually took over. So very much where Morgoth was Sauron's boss, Putin is Trump's boss because they both tell them what to do and are kind of bigger evil guys. Putin is much worse than Trump in so many ways. Now, that's it, the Lord of the Rings comparison. If you didn't agree with me, or if you did, please feel free to write a comment. And if you want more news with a nerdy and satirical bent, be sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching, and remember, we're all in this together. So go out, pick your class, and do your part. Don't be an NPC. Be a hero. For Frodo.
Your elf eyes see the voting records of our elected officials. They're taking the hobbits to Isengard! 